An Italian Catholic finds Islam. In Australia, this is a very heart-touching story, listening to which your faith will be renewed. Please listen to this story completely. This story has also left a great impact on our hearts. Let's hear, Iman's story, in her own words. I was raised, as a strict Catholic on the south coast of Australia, being of Italian origins. I had never been in contact with Islam or Muslims. I didn't have any information about Islam. As I was growing up, I questioned my family about their Catholic identity, and the response was always, Italians are all Catholic, and we have always been. I thought to myself, is it right that we should believe in something, simply because our parents follow it? By the time, I was 15 years old, I already had a strong belief in God. I would go to Sunday Mass, every week with my mother, but I found praying to Jesus, as, to be very confusing, I started asking my mother questions about the difference between God, and Jesus, but her answers never seemed to satisfy me. At the age of 16, I got married, had two boys, and then separated by 21. After that, by the will of Allah, I met a Muslim man, I began associating with his friends, including a sister who was wearing hijab, and was also a convert. She introduced me to more Muslim sisters, who gathered regularly at a Muslim youth center, in Lakemba. They explained Islam to me effectively, and the missing pieces were filled in by, what I read in the Quran. I asked a sister, to lend me a book explaining the prayer, and I taught myself to pray, five times daily. Months went by in this state. One day, my mother became furious, when she found Islamic books in my room. She was devastated to learn, that her only daughter, who was raised a strict Catholic, was interested in Islam, of all religions, for some reason, whenever anyone hears that, I converted to Islam, they say, why that religion? My mother made it clear, that if I changed my religion, she would have nothing to do with me, I wouldn't be her daughter anymore. Notwithstanding this, my faith grew stronger, I sincerely wanted to live an Islamic life, but the only way to do so, was to live on my own with my two children. I had to establish Islam, not just as a religion, but as a complete way of life. When my knowledge of Islam grew, I understood that, I had to either obey God, the creator of all, or listen to my parents, who didn't want me to convert. I was in a dilemma. Should I keep my parents happy, or should I choose, what I believed to be the right path in life? I chose the path of Almighty Allah, our sustainer and nourisher, and the only true guide to success. In order to make my choice official, on March 29, 2000, I put on my hijab. From that day on, I didn't care about the opinions of my friends, and relatives as long as, I believed that. I was doing the right thing. When I began wearing hijab, my life became easier with Allah's help. One of my Muslim friends, chose the name Iman for me, meaning faith. I decided to give my children Islamic names, Ter, and Bile. As a Muslim, I have overcome my fears of others' opinions, and try to fear Allah only in my actions and decisions. I phoned my mother, and told her the news, about my choice to wear a hijab. At first, she didn't believe me, she told me that if she saw me wearing a hijab, she would rip it off, a week went by and she realized, that I was serious. She told me never to set foot in her house again, and that she did not consider me her daughter anymore. It was the hardest thing, I have ever experienced in my life. I knew that Allah alone could bring, my mother close to me again. So after a few months, I was praying and I started to cry while making dua to Allah to let my mother call me. The next day Allah answered my dua and my mother rang. Alhamdulillah, all praise be to Allah, Allah is the controller of all affairs. Later on, I started having financial problems. I made dua to Allah to ease my situation, and the next day I received a check in the mail. After that, there was no way, I could disobey Allah by not following his commands. I strove to do what was good and avoid what was evil. Taking my son to kindergarten, I met more sisters. I got very close to two of them, 
and they helped me and always made me feel secure, especially when my mother rejected me. I was told about Arabic classes for my five-year-old son, and he has learned a lot since I converted. I have taught him how to recite the Quran. Ensure Allah, God willing, my children will grow up learning about Islam, and the best way to live their lives. It's been almost two years since I converted, and I am now able to speak to others about Islam. One morning I went to the shop and a young girl, served me at the counter. She asked me, did you convert? I replied yes, and she told me that she also believes in Allah, and is thinking of converting. We kept in contact, I gave her a copy of the Quran, books, and videotapes, so she could understand, and learn more about Islam. At the same time, I knew to stay close to her, and give her as much advice and help as possible. My being a Catholic convert to Islam, helped her to relate to the religion, though she already knew, some things about it. After six months, she called me and asked, if I could take her to the mosque to convert officially. I was so happy that Allah used me as a means of her guidance, Alhamdulillah, she is now a Muslim. I thank Allah every day that he awoke me to this wonderful religion. Islam is a religion of peace and goodwill, to all human beings, irrespective of color or ethnicity. It is a great privilege to be part of this way of life. It is a great honor to guide, a non-believer to Islam, and Alhamdulillah, I have been used for this great task, and it has encouraged me to do more dear in the path of Islam. I strongly encourage other Muslims to do the same. May Allah give us guidance to follow the path of the Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share.